In this video, I'll be showing how to easily and quickly register your drone with the FAA. Whether you're trying to register your drone for recreational operation or for commercial operation, the FAA Drone Zone website is the place to do it. This is an important process to go through in order to ensure that you're flying your drone safely and within the law. So please stick around as I will walk you through the entire process step by step. Also if you're a Part 107 operator, you can also use this website to submit requests such as airspace requests to fly within the class B, C, and or D airspaces. As well as you can submit accident reports as you will see later in this video. I will also note that this only applies for drones that weigh more than 0.55 pounds or 250 grams and less than 55 pounds or 25 kilograms. So go ahead and first go to the FAA Drone Zone website and create an account. Since I've already created an account, I'll go ahead and log in. Once you've logged in, it will bring up the FAA Drone Zone Services page and you will launch the Drone Owners and Pilots dashboard here. If this is your first time setting up this account, you should see a page to which you will select either Part 107 or Recreational Flyer. For the purpose of this video, we'll go ahead and select Part 107 account. From here, you will fill out the necessary information needed to complete the application and then proceed to the dashboard. When you get to the dashboard, go ahead and click Manage Device Inventory. Since I've already registered two of my drones here, you can see the list of registered drones down here. Go ahead and select Add Device and fill out the necessary information here. Then you will see here that it will cost about $5 per drone to be registered. Go ahead and check out and acknowledge the FAA requirements. Go ahead and fill out your payment details here and proceed with the payment. Once you've completed the step, it should bring out the page saying you've successfully registered your drone and you will need to mark each aircraft with an assigned registration number before it is operated. I've already done this by putting a sticker on the side of my drone here. Also note that on this dashboard here, you can also submit part 107 waiver slash authorizations here as well as submit part 107 accident reports. If you find any value in this video, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe to stay tuned for more videos.